there. Who are you? I'm just a maid. Please, I'm not an assassin. What's wrong? How's His Majesty? His Majesty is safe, but this woman has told us she's only a maid, not a killer. A maid? It's you again. How dare you disturb His Majesty? She keeps causing problems. Take her away and beat her up. Yes! yes. Madam, I'm innocent! Madam, I'm innocent! His Majesty has arrived! Greetings, His Majesty! Please rise. Thank you, Your Majesty! Madam Wong, what is this? Your Majesty, this girl has disturbed you, and I was going to have her punished for it. Wait. There's a birthday soon. No one will be hurt. I understand. But, Your Majesty, this girl has no remorse. Please forgive me. I just made a mistake. I was out here so I could finish working on a birthday gift. Oh. You mean, a gift for my mother, right? Yes. We're making a curtain for her, and I was copying a word in Shambay. Wenyun? Are you from the Liang State? I'm a Han, from North Chi. How interesting. Get up now. Yes. Come along with me now, and you can explain the whole matter. Yes. So, because it was late, they thought I was a killer, and I was cornered. Interesting. Inter- <coughs> Your Majesty, medicine? Not right now. Yes. Not only do you resemble the Consort Xiao, your speech and actions are like hers too. You're rather lucky to have met me. All right. Since you broke the rules this evening to finish your gift, I will pardon your crime. Yuan Fu. Yes. Bring paper. Yes. Get up? Yes. There you go. Here's the word you need. Go back to your courtyard, and please, don't lose this along the way. Yuan Fu, escort her. Yes. Thank you, Your Majesty. Miss Lu, uh? I'll leave you here. Your courtyard's right there. Thank you, sir. Take care now. Mm. <sighs> Uncle, wait for me. I'll be just a minute. Keep moving. Yes. yes! Wow, you're here! You're here! <laughs> <laughs> hey, the princess's butler gave me the jade, and then I knew you'd be in here. Mm. But it's quite late. What are you doing out? Don't ask. It's been a crazy night for me. Oh, yeah. How'd you escape those men? Now you're in the palace, and you said the jade's from your family. But it belongs to Her Highness. You speak like a Prime Minister. You sound like you're holding court. I've been so worried about you. 
Oh, how's your arm? <laughs> it's good. Completely healed. Also, the doctor told me if more people were like you, he'd go and retire. <sighs> You're still talking nonsense. So, with the way you're dressed, does it mean that you are now... You're... A guard? <laughs> That's it. I mm. took your advice. When I returned, I managed to oppose my stepmother. I was sent here out of fear. She didn't want me around. Oh. But I'm dressed this way because we had a small event. Oh. Uh, regarding the jade... The princess and my family are very close, so we know each other quite well. Oh, it's no wonder that she covered up my lie. She's a good friend of yours. <laughs> huh? Oh no, it's so late. I have to go back inside, or Madame Yang will find out that I sneaked out. Hey, huh? you should quit being a maid here. I know people who work in the court, and I could find somebody in there to help you out. You could finally return home safely, and your stepmother would leave you alone. Don't do that. I'm fine here. I already told you. I know what I must do. I won't leave no matter what. Don't worry about me being a palace maid. I'm coping all right here. It's better than before. If I do a good job in my exam, I might be a third rank maid soon. <sighs> fine. Work hard. And I wish you well in your exams. When I'm free, I'll find you. Hmm. But please, be careful here. Don't get discovered, okay? You've only just started working in here, and if your stepmother hears of any gossip, you'll get in trouble. Uh, okay, I gotta go now. Hey, wait! Huh? You're Jade. Take it. Uh, but this is yours! Hey, did you forget? I told you. Whatever is yours, always will be. I'll go now. Right. <laughs> My prince, was that Miss Lou? Hmm. Ah, I can see why you like that girl. She's quite similar to Consort Xiao. She seems to care about you a lot, and she's independent. I don't think daughters of nobility could match her. There's no other woman that compares with her. Shimbi, why aren't you concerned about which division you'll be going to? Well, there's no point. I won't be a third rank. Unlike someone who got first place because she made a curtain, the Empress loved that gift. Did they make a mistake? My name isn't there. Madam, something's wrong. My name isn't up on the list. It's because nobody wants you. Pack up your things now. Leave this place. What for? I received first place from the birthday gift. You trespassed and disturbed His Majesty. That's a crime punishable by death. Did you already forget what you did? His Majesty spared your life. But still, you did break the palace rules. I'm being extremely kind by merely having you leave here. Please, madam. You can't do this. It's not fair. <laughs> not fair? You didn't pass because you repeatedly broke our rules. Who can say I'm unfair? Me. Don't worry. I'm here. Let me handle this. Look, Madame Wang. I know what has happened to her. We all know that His Majesty has pardoned her. So why do you keep insisting on making a big deal out of this? Madame Lo, I've always been in charge of assigning divisions to the maids. Don't interfere. Matters of the harem are managed by Consort Xiao. Even His Majesty can't disregard the rules here. Oh. 
So, do you mean that Consort Xiao has a lot more power than Empress Lo does? A few days ago, Empress Lo told me to bring this girl so she could meet her. It seems that she's rather interested in Lu Zhen. Would you ignore her request and face the consequences? <laughs> Madam Lo, you don't always have to keep bringing Her Majesty up. I'm only saying that Imperial Consort Xiao is the one who controls the harem. Tell me, did Consort Xiao issue a decree with her phoenix seal that says Lu Zhen will be kicked out of the palace today? <laughs> it's a trivial matter. There is no need for her to issue a decree. Huh. Without a decree, you might be abusing your authority. Everybody here is aware that I am very fond of this girl. But you keep trying to kick her out of here. Some people might praise you for following the rules, but some people might think you're just doing this so that you can oppose me. Fine. Then I know what to do now. I will send somebody to get a decree at once. No matter what, she'll be kicked out. Wan Yang. Yes. Lame? Yes. Go to Empress Lo and get a decree from her. We'll find out which one is more effective. Yes. Your Excellencies, Consort Xiao happened to be with Empress Lo in her residence. They were made aware of the situation involving Lu Zhen and will meet with her tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock, and then they will decide. Since they'll decide together, Madam Lo, we'll both wait for the outcome in the morning. Yes, we'll be there. You and I will both wait inside for the result. <laughs> Dear girl, you must dress smart for this. You better make me proud tomorrow. I expect you to make that foolish woman regret all she's done. Yes. Lujan, you're so pretty. Don't you know how lucky you are? All of us are just going to be third-ranked maids. But you've advanced so far. You're going to meet royalty soon. I believe that great things will happen to you. <laughs> I said before, Lu Jin's extraordinary. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, Madam. Madam. You will go to your divisions tomorrow. Why haven't you gotten ready? Leave the room. I must speak with Lu Jen. Yes. 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 Madam. Have you been thinking about how you'll impress Consort Xiao and Her Majesty tomorrow? Madam, what do you mean? You girl, you need to wake up. Don't you understand that you will be courting death tomorrow? The Empress and Consort Xiao don't care at all about which division a palace maid will go to. Madam Lo likes you because of the jade and the fact that you look quite similar to Consort Xiao. Madame Wang has tried hard to kick you out. Also, because you had a private meeting with His Majesty that night. She's scared he will remember you and lose his attraction to Consort Xiao. Madam, that's not my intention. Listen to me. If you go to this meeting tomorrow and Consort Xiao sees you, then you're as good as dead. She hates women who seduce His Majesty. She caused Lady Li Ping to kill herself. The life of a mere maid means nothing to her. The Empress and Madame Lo will be there. Even if they can save you, you'll only become His Majesty's plaything. All concubines are from the families of high-ranking officials. Even if he seems to like you, you'll never get a title. You'll just die of old age in here. Madame, that won't do. I'm seeking my revenge. I must go up the ranks. Madam, I'm begging you. Please tell me, what do I have to do? At this time, there's not much you can do. 
Maybe pretend to be ill? Pretend? No, I can't. I can't avoid the meeting. It can't be helped. You look too much like the consort. <sighs> but if I don't look like the consort, I would be okay. Has there been anything from the Empress? I think that she believed me. She even made sure yesterday that you didn't know you had been drinking poison. <laughs> Yu Chao, I'm so thankful. It pleases me to know that I've been helpful. Ah. Uh, your Highness, I, I made this for you. I hope you like it. You can put some incense inside it. Thanks for this. Oh yeah, can you help keep an eye on Lu Chen for me? I can't go to the harem myself. Can you help me find out which division she's in? Uh, sure. Thanks a lot. Greetings, Your Majesty. So is this the maid? I would like to see how your character is. Mm -hmm. Two officials of internal affairs have argued over you. Please raise your head. What? What is wrong with your face? I knew I was having an important meeting this morning, so I borrowed some powder, except my face became like this. Qin Shang, there's nothing special about this girl. <sighs> Empress. Madam. Concert Xiao, I didn't mean to break palace rules. My face has been checked out, and I'm told it's not going to heal soon. If I get kicked out of here, no man will want to have me. Concert Xiao, please give me another chance. All right. I'm in a good mood today, so I'll let you stay in the palace to scrape a living. Xuan, Jinjing Hall needs some more maids. Maybe she should go work there. Thank you, Consort. Thank you, Consort. <sighs> Madam! Madam! How was it? So good. I've been placed in Qingjing Hall. Huh? Qingjing Hall? Mm. It's the Cold Palace. The Grand Concubine Joe lives there. Who cares how cold it is? As long as I'm still in here, there can be hope for me. <sighs> I still can't believe you did that, rubbing celery juice on your face. Aren't you scared that it'll be permanent? No, I'll be okay. I often use this method when I was a child. Trust me, madam, it'll be gone in two days. <sighs> So this is it. Here's Qingjing Hall. Go in. I'm Lu Zun. I will be your new maid. May you live long, Grand Concubine. Please, get up. Yes. Come closer so I can see you. Yes. You keep yourself tidy. How old are you? Almost 17. <laughs> You're pretty. Long ago, I also came at 17. The years passed me by so quickly. 
Liu Xu. It's been so long since the maid joined Qingjing Hall. What was the reason for this? <laughs> it's clear that nobody would want to work in Qingjing Hall. I'm sure this girl broke some rules and so she was punished. Uh, it's true. I was ousted by Madame Wang. You seem to be rather smart. How did you manage to offend the ugly shrew? Breakfast! <laughs> That's enough, Miss Jo. You should have something to eat. Leave the girl alone. Just let me show her what to do here. But I don't feel like eating right now. I want to hear scriptures. You have to eat. If you don't eat now, it'll be too cold to eat later. And besides, the only maid left who could read to you was Hooray, and she's gone. No one else can read them. Oh, I can. I can read. I'm literate. That's wonderful. Liu Xu, get the scriptures. Oh, sure. <laughs> I misjudged this new girl. Who knew that Lu Jun would be so good at winning people over? Let's see how you deal with me. Hey, come here. Oh. Yes, Loshi? You became the personal maid of the Grand Concubine very quickly. You advance faster than one who tries to be a scholar. It's all due to your great guidance. If not for you, I wouldn't be where I am now. Wow, you do say such nice things. Madam Yang told me to give you this oil. The doctor here made it. It's good for colds. So you're familiar with Madame Young as well. Hey, we're sisters in this place. There's no need to kneel down. Please, get up. Thanks, sister. From now on, you will live in the East Wing. Serve Miss Jo the best you can. But don't be so arrogant. There is enough smart people here in Changing Hall. Yes. Let's go. you! Uh, good evening. You're the girl who took my job reading scriptures. So you're Sister Hooray. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. It's just, she was keen to hear some scriptures, so... <laughs> hey! Hey! Open up! Please open up! Come on! It's been a long time since I went for a walk outside. It's sunny today. Why don't we go enjoy it? That's a lovely idea. Oh dear. Grand Concubine, you should be resting in your bed now. Come on, have a seat. Bring some tea for the Grand Concubine. Yes. You were being quite smart yesterday. But today you did something stupid. 
The concubine is old now. What if she catches a cold from the winds outside? I'm sorry, I don't know all the rules. Listen, if not for Madame Young's sake, I would... All right, go help Dun Young sweep the yard. Go on! Uh, yes. yes. Grand Concubine, have some tea. Dan Young, thank you for last night. <laughs> no, I should thank you. I ate those cookies that you gave everyone. Wow, those cookies were the best I've ever had. They reminded me of when I used to eat them as a child. But after coming here, I haven't had them again. In Chin Jing Hall, there's nothing. Even though the Grand Concubine is really nice, our kitchen is so tiny. Hey, one time, a nice madam gave me something great to eat. It was only a bit of fruit, but goodness, it was really sweet and so fragrant. Ah. <laughs> it sounds like food is your favorite thing, huh? It is. The Grand Concubine calls me a glutton. <laughs> oh yeah, Danyang, I just came here. Could you let me know what the hall rules are? <laughs> All right. You have to know one thing. It's better to upset our master than to upset sisters Lu Xu and Her Rei. They're both first rank maids. If they're angry, you'll go hungry. Oh. I got it. Mm. Uh. Oh, Lu Jen, you caught a cold last night. Oh, no, I'm fine. You must be careful. This place isn't like other halls. You can get really sick here. I've seen some girls throw up so much, it's like they're about to die. I'm okay, don't worry. <laughs> Danyang, I wanted to ask, some of the sisters here in Qingjing Hall seem respectful to the Grand Concubine, but then I hear them say... Come. So you've noticed then, that's the way Lu Xu is. That girl is really a deceitful person. But our master is considered nobility. Why are they so mean to her? It's because of her majesty. Although we address her as the Grand Concubine Zhou, in truth, she's the Grand Imperial Concubine. She's a princess from Chihu. She used to have a lot of power once. But now, behind her back, people say she wasn't born of royalty, and it's embarrassing. Huh? <laughs> and so, once Her Majesty became Empress, she made her suffer hard. Our master was sent to Qingjing Hall ten years ago, even though it seems like she's distinguished. She's starting to get old and has no power. So not many of the maids here treat the Grand Concubine sincerely. Miss Jo, your dinner. And then you can sleep. I'm so sorry! Here comes the soup! Uh, oh. uh, you? Uh, what's wrong with you? You can't do anything! You waste of space! You're not even a third rank maid! You ruined my new dress! I'm really angry! I'm sorry, sister. Come on, go back and get changed. I'll serve our master now. Listen to Lu Jun. Hooray, you may leave now. Yes. You okay? Yeah. Let's clean this. I've got this. Because I heard that at night you get thirsty. This is honey water. You should try a bit. You don't have to. I'll take it back. You are a good-natured and kind girl. Liu Xu thinks I shouldn't drink too much, or else I'll have to use the toilet at night. Which means they don't let me drink a lot before bed. Don't say that. I'm sure Liu Xu cares a lot about you. Sister, you caught a cold. No, I'm fine. Danyang, quick. Go to my cabinet and give her a buplerum pill. Yes. Uh, don't do that. That medicine's yours. It's all right. I've got ample amounts of medicine. 
So please take it. Hey, I found it. Here. Do you want to eat this as well? The shell around it is made of a sweet paste. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you will never change, Dunyang. You really are such a hopeless glutton, aren't you? <laughs> That's not true. I have ambition. I will work hard until I just can't work any longer, so I can realize a great dream I've had for many years. I will be a maid in the kitchen, and then I'll eat great food. I'll eat so much every day. That's your only dream? Don't you have more? In fact, I do. When I'm a rich lady, I'll put a small kitchen right next to my bed and get someone to serve me every day. Whenever I want something tasty, my servant will start to cook. Cook, 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 cook. He'll cook me the tastiest food ever. to take a few more pills. Yeah, but... <coughs> well, this is what you get. Hurry up. It's time to go to Jingxin Courtyard. You can't stay here, or you'll get us sick as well. That's yeah. right. Yes. You too. Help her up. to die already the fourth one this month the other three are dead now why don't we have a bet and guess how long she will last in here You said she's at Chinjing Hall now? Yes. I have to go. Chinjing Hall. <laughs> Hold on. She's guarding my father's tomb? Yes. Lu Jun broke some rules, so she's there as punishment. She's back in six months. I see. You can go. Yes. My prince, I believe that you can trust Yu Chao. I know I can. I think I was made the crown prince, so I'd be confined in here. It's impossible for me to leave this place. I have a way. I'll get my friend in the army to send out news, and then they could find Miss Lu. Are you sure about that? Hmm. Uh, you must remember to pay them some money, so they'll definitely do this. Of course I will. You're doing so much for Miss Lu. Have you fallen in love yet? <laughs> Get out of here. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
Is that a good idea? If I were you, I'd stay away from the water here. A maid had recently jumped in there, and her body is still down there. <laughs> ah, in Jingxin Courtyard, you can only wait for death. If I were you, I would have found myself a rope and then hung myself. <coughs> She's insane. Another lunatic's in here. No, I'm not. I won't die in here. Madam, you have what I have too. Try this plant. Traders have been known to use it. You'll feel better. Will this plant save our lives? Yeah. If there's no medicine, this plant can help you out. Oh, that's great. Hurry. Come here and look, everybody. We've got a quack physician. And she's going to save all your lives. I'm not a doctor. I'm just a patient like you are. But I believe in doing something than waiting to die here. Don't worry. I will think of a way to keep us alive. Thanks! Thanks! Thank you. Have more. Uncle, My where person. is Chao? She was summoned by internal affairs earlier. Oh. <sighs> Thank you. A basin! Quickly! Here. Thank you. Uncle. Yes? Something isn't right here. Huh? Yuan Fu has arrived! Greetings, Your Highness. Get up. Your Highness, His Majesty needs to see you. All right. John, I'm very sorry. It was my fault. Highness, what happened? I can't say it. Yan Fu, say it for me. Yes, Your Majesty. Your Highness, this is what happened. His Majesty saw you carrying that sachet. He asked the maids about where you got it. They said Yu Chao made it for you. His Majesty thought that maybe you liked her. <gasps> Later on, he went to see Consort Xiao. He told her, but by accident. After that, she summoned Yu Chao and interrogated her. And then she punished her. Unfortunately, she died. Brother, I'm so sorry. I didn't think that she was still like this, but... Uh, 
my prince. Uncle, do you know what happened? Yes. Madam Wong just spoke to me. Said Yu Chao was assigned to work for you, to get near you. Madam Wong told me that you shouldn't touch things from the Empress. I already know that. Consul Xiao didn't know that Yu Chao was really on our side. Well, in any case, I caused her to die. I knew that she liked me. I should have done something. Oh. Yuan Lu found out which maids are at your father's tomb, but Miss Lu is not there. Where is she? 